you're watching Adjuster TV. You just got a hundred claims. You have no idea what you're doing. You have no idea how to schedule. You have no idea how to stay afloat because your phone's ringing, your email's blowing up, and everyone's upset at you because you suck at scheduling. Well, today, we're gonna fix that. Hey IAs, and welcome to the Auto IA Show by IA Path. At IA Path, we help get experience requirements waived for new IAs with our 90-day online mentorship programs. If you're interested, head over to iapath.com. Now, as I mentioned in the beginning, today we're gonna to be talking about scheduling. And scheduling is so important. It sounds like, eh, maybe I can just forget about it. Maybe it's not something I need to be trained on. Maybe it's something I just don't need to focus on until it's too late. That's often what happens. And that's my story, which you're gonna hear in a video that we use in our mentorship program. I decided to let you have access to it today because we're in the middle of hail season. And during hail season, lots of little ice balls fall from the sky and claim counts soar everywhere. All of a sudden, you'll be getting one, two claims a day, maybe a few claims a week, and then boom, instantly your inbox and your claim management system can explode into dozens, if not over a hundred claims. I've had it happen to me and I wanna help you know exactly what to do in this episode. For all the best tips, tricks, and tools, head on over to Adjuster TV's YouTube channel and click the subscribe button. While you're there, don't forget to hit the bell notification so you'll get notified every time we have a new video. Now, if you're ready to learn how to schedule mass volumes of claim or how to schedule period, if you have no experience handling a large volume of claims, get ready. But first, do you need errors and emissions, general liability, drone insurance, or even cyber liability coverage? Then let me tell you about our sponsor, Claims Professionals Liability Insurance Company, or CPLIC. Founded 16 years ago by independent adjusters, for independent adjusters, they wanna give you peace of mind while you work with the insured. To apply, head over to cplic.net today. All right, IA, congrats. Either you've received a huge volume influx due to a hailstorm in your area, or you've been deployed to handle field claims out in some distant land like Dallas, Texas, Denver, Colorado, or Cheyenne, Wyoming. It doesn't really matter. The point is you've got a lot of assignments now to deal with, and this is both great and terrifying at the same time. One of the most common things that I'm asked to teach you, the IA, by the IA firms, is how to handle mass numbers of claims. Because most IAs fail when it comes to getting a bulk load of assignments. And that, in turn, hurts the IA firms massively when it comes to the insurance company. They're dealt with, they're dealing with status issues, uh, customer issues, survey problems on hundreds of files versus just a handful. So if you can get this right, you're gonna be so valuable, you're gonna be the person that they call on when they need dozens, if not hundreds of claims to be handled. So take note because I have failed at this. Now, Chris, why are you telling me you failed? Don't you wanna tell me you've been awesome at this? No, it's the failure that makes you realize that you need to change. It's the failure, failure that makes you realize you need to do things different and better. So I developed a system called the four S's to stress-free scheduling. Now, this was not something I was born with. It was not something I did from day one. It was born after the failure I encountered. One afternoon, my wife and I were in the garden, tending to our little like four by four garden, pulling weeds, and a huge wind blew through. We had no idea what was going on, but a tornado had landed ah, two miles away. And I got over a hundred assignments that night. Hale had pummeled an entire military base. So USAA Insurance and through their IA firm I was working uh, with just flooded 
me with claims. And I'd never had to deal with over 100 assignments before. And it wasn't just those 100. I kept staying over 100 claims in my inbox for well over a month. It took at least two to three months to clean up that entire storm. But I had failed during that time. I burned relationships personally and in business because I didn't handle it properly. I didn't know how to handle it. So I want to help you do that now with the four S's to stress-free scheduling. First off, when you get a huge influx in claims, whether it's with hail or anything else, you need to stop. What do I mean by that? You need to stop inspecting and start scheduling until you get all your claims status and scheduled out. But it's not that simple, is it? It's like, oh man, well, I've got five today, I've got five tomorrow. You need to take the time to potentially reschedule those assignments. You need to put the brakes on and go, whoa, look at the big scope and go, I have to do good customer service to all these customers, not just the five I already had. And so you've got to really put the brakes on, finish up what you got for the day, and sit down and get a grasp and a handle on what you've got. So that's step one is stopping. Next up, you need to segment. Now you might be willy nilly and just be able to run on the fly, run and gun right now with your claims and not have to worry about, is this on the east side or west side of my town? Or maybe you just drive two hours to one coverage area and drive back. And you're just like, that's fine. I just do that every other day. You need to have a segmenting plan for when bulk claims come in because they may come in all on one side of the city, but more than likely they're gonna be, get spread out across a big area. And with 100 claims, you might have three, four different buckets you need to segment into. So determine what those three or four buckets are and east, west, north, south, whatever it is for you in your area, and, and determine what those are gonna be and set up a calendar specifically related to those. And this is how I did it is I would alternate where I went each day, even if I had zero claims scheduled there yet. So I'm gonna go Wednesday, I'm gonna be north of uh, Raleigh, North Carolina. Thursday, I'm gonna be east, so on and so forth. And I would schedule out two weeks, even though no claims are scheduled. That way, when I get a claim in for that area and I get that mass influx, I can start dropping them in those buckets and kind of pre-scheduling them there. Why is this important? Why would we do that? Why would we segment what we're doing and kind of put people into those buckets? Well, when you call the owner and they go, I can't meet on Thursday, When's the, when are the next time I'm gonna be in that area? You're gonna go, uh, I don't know. And you're gonna have to go figure it out, call them back and everybody else back once you figure out your schedule. Go ahead and figure out your schedule with your segmenting for at least two weeks out so you have your buckets to drop them into. Third step now is to schedule. Now that you've got your buckets, now that you've got all your claims kind of spread out to where ideally you know where they're gonna fall, now you need to start contacting the owners and scheduling those claims with them. You need to create that schedule with the owner. And so you need to go through and call your next day's worth of work first and tell them that you're gonna be in that area on that day work hard to get an appointment there, and if they can't do it then, move them back to the next day. And then, once you have appointments set with all of these people, and you, you need to status each and every one of these. Because statusing is everything. Statusing is so important. If you don't status your files and let them know when they're gonna be inspected, they're going to start pulling files from you. So once you get something scheduled, go ahead and status that file. Even if it's for next Thursday, that's fine. IA firms and insurance companies understand this isn't everyday business. This is a catastrophe or a large claim volume scenario. So you need to be aware of it and status accordingly because it's okay that you're over a week out as long as you status. But if you wait a week to status and say inspecting tomorrow, they're going to be unhappy with you. All IA firms say is they want a status, so do it. So here's the four uh, keys to stress-free scheduling and recap. Number one, you need to stop. Once you get a bulk volume, stop what you're doing. Find time to set this up, whether it's two hours because you got 12 claims or whether it's two days because you got 100. Set aside some time. Then you need to segment. You need to figure out your buckets and set it up on your calendar, digital or otherwise, 
I like digital because on the road, I know where I'm at when somebody calls, or you might have a calendar on your desk. doesn't matter, but segment your calendar out. Then number three, you need to go ahead and schedule those claims. And four, most importantly, you must status those files. Because if you don't status them in the first 24 hours of getting them or 48 hours when you have 100, you're gonna start getting calls on those every single day. And it's gonna snowball and consume your life. So that's the four S's of stress-free scheduling and how you can handle the workflow for a catastrophic hail field scenario. You're interested in becoming an independent adjuster or an auto damage appraiser as a part of a diversified career, head on over to ipath.com and click the how to find work button. There is a free video course for you teaching you exactly how to become an IA and how to have a successful career. Thank you very much for watching the Auto IA Show and until next week, keep walking your path and claiming your life.